constant bomb threats led up to April 6th, when the school had to be evacuated four times in just six hours. During the last evacuation, students started pushing and shoving each other. Soon it turned into a melee with 24 police officers called in to control hundreds of students. I think the students are very uh, unhappy when they have to evacuate the building for these reasons. Um, you, a few years ago when it started, uh, we were out and uh, it was a novelty. This is not a novelty, it's an irritation for the students, the general student, and the staff. But students say this wasn't the only problem last year. Fights happened all the time. There were fights last year simply because people just like looked at someone wrong or just said something. And it's stupid to fight about that because you know you really have to look at more important things. In the aftermath of the riot and fights, Principal Brian Polvino was replaced. Deborah Masha Paolo took over in August. She's been quick to make changes. She's added two new deans in charge of student conduct. The school is also beefing up its version of the Students Against Violence initiative, which focuses on nonviolence and tolerance. Five teachers were on the committee last year. Eleven will participate this year, along with 60 students. We've started uh, discussions with students and staff already. Uh, we're waiting for some curriculum from the state to come down uh, about training new students. There are 1,400 students here in Nottingham High School, all with differences, different races, different backgrounds, different colors and creeds, but what officials and students hope is that this program will help them understand each other better. Yeah, I think it'll, uh, you know, help cut down on the violence because there's a lot of violence going on, but this year, you know, the principal, the administrators, they're real strict on it, they're cutting down on it which Nottingham hopes will eventually eliminate violence in the school. Tom Kane, NBC3 Action News.